Summons for Animator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we just watched Three from Hell, which I bought streaming on Amazon Prime Video because I couldn't wait for the physical copy to come to the house because I have no chill and wanted to watch it immediately. I'm still going to order the physical copy because I want a complete collection, but anyways. So our film does pick up pretty much where the Devil's Rejects left off with Otis, Baby, and Captain Spaulding all getting shot up in the car. Riddled we, with bullets. Riddled with bullets. We think they're dead, but nay, they are not. They pull through. Uh, Baby and Otis are in prison on several life terms while Captain Spaulding maybe doesn't share the same fate. But as you figure, somehow Otis gets out and is plotting his way to get Baby out and chaos ensues. We're not going to give away too much, but you you know what you're in for. You see three from hell and you assume that they all get back together and just, you know, mess everything up. And mm -hmm. they are joined by Wolfman. And that is Otis's half-brother, which I believe would also make him maybe not Baby's half-brother. Maybe it's the other half. Mm -hmm. They never so, really mention that. No, never but really she does call brother. him brother, so well, one would be safe to assume. What did you like about this movie? I love this movie. I really, I loved everything about this movie. The thing I liked the most, and I'm not going to steal yours because I already know what yours is, but it's also the thing I, I liked. I love the acting in this. The acting in this was phenomenal. It was so, and it was even the the cameos from other, from other, from other, other, other actors, which was great in it. But the acting in general was phenomenal i actually paid attention to this movie from pretty much beginning to end it really didn't have any low points and the acting even in the non-action parts the acting really kept you in so i really loved that what was your favorite part even though i kind of already know what you're gonna say well, my, one of my favorite aspects of the movie was the gore. I thought it, like, obviously Rob Zombie knows what he's doing. So that was great. <laughs> Please keep making movies, Rob yes. Zombie. Yes. There is a particular scene that is slow motion that was hilarious. <laughs> and we both couldn't stop laughing. It, it involves Baby and um, it's in the another trailer. female actress. Maybe not it. all of the shot was in the trailer. Maybe, like, from here up was in the trailer. It was in the Red Band trailer. But... That was great, and I thought that, you know, Rob Zombie just has this amazing knack of picking literally the perfect song to go with scenes he was that the you really remember. He was the executive music producer for yes. this. I saw that during the credits, and I was like, so, oh, that's why it scores. As a musician and a horror lover, he's going to know exactly what he should do to mm -hmm. get, like, that perfect reaction. People just going, ah. And then when you hear the song randomly you know you're driving in your car and you just think of the scene and that's <laughs> it's amazing i thought that was great the gore is great i love that d wallace has a cameo in this yes. and it didn't hit me until we're watching the credits rolling i was like oh my god that was d wallace and um uh, well it was the other one we were like what he was in the movie was it clint howard no, no, I, I, Clint I, Howard has a cameo. I, I noticed that. Oh, right Barry Bostwick. Barry Bostwick. Yeah. So, <sighs> big Rocky Horror Picture Show fan here. I was like super, super stoked to see his name pop up. I really thought you were going to say the practical effects because the practical effects yeah, in the this gore. were amazing. The gore is incredible. There was some CGI in it, like a very, like a, a little bit, but it was done very well, and it was done as like a background thing to the practical effects were in the foreground and they did put a little cgi in the background oh which is how you should do it bonus like i enjoyed ballet cat that was a adorable scene i love ballet cat <laughs> we want more ballet cat please uh so what did you dislike about the movie <sighs> hmm to be honest i can't think of anything i just i thought this was a great movie I had a great time. I it really like like I like I said in the non action parts the story was like the thing is I know a lot of people are going to say oh the story really couldn't you know you, they, there was no like story they didn't know what they were doing I was like yeah that's because it's them. They don't plan shit. They just do stuff. 
and it's they're chaotic that's why there's no like plan but i mean the i i can't think of anything to be to be honest i thought i thought it was paced well i couldn't believe like when we stopped because you get to go pee like always i was like oh my god there's only 30 minutes left in this movie but then it just kind of wrapped everything up Mm -hmm. um I mean, the only thing I didn't like about this movie is the one thing we couldn't control about this movie. I wish I could have seen more more Sid Haig, but unfortunately he passed. That I mean, was, was a really super hard part about watching the movie. You know, seeing him as... as We did lose him very recently, and just he doesn't have that same energy. Like, obviously, you know, he is older, he's not well, but it just kind of like hits the center of your soul and you're just like oh because he's not in the movie a, a lot yeah i think and he only you can had tell like because, a few scenes and you can and you can tell because in the scenes that, that he was was in you can tell he's very sick yeah and it's very very sad you even have a great picture of him and you and i'll put that right here and <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah that's like if if i had to just one thing it was it's just you know i wish i could have seen more of captain spaulding because he was my favorite all right, what did you not like? Um, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, there there were some scenes I felt like they didn't really, really need, but it wasn't something that really bothered me. You know, the stuff with them in the, the prison cells, and Otis is known for very lengthy, descriptive monologues, and sometimes you don't need that, but, like, it also didn't bother me because it just added to the buildup of the story. And it plays to its kid. Her, yeah, character, like his character. character that, that's what he does. That's <laughs> and that's like a Rob Zombie thing too, because um, oh crap, what's his name? From Thirty One, he mm-hmm. had a pretty memorable Thirty One. He had a pretty memorable monologue in the beginning of the film that I really enjoyed. That I know a mm-hmm. lot of people were like, "Ugh, just oh, get that to was, it." Um, what was his name? Death Face. Yeah. Murder Face. William uh, Murder Face. Murder oh. Face. Murder Face. Murder <laughs> Face. I don't know. But I, I also, like, I'm a really big fan of Rob Zombie's films as well as his music. And dude knows what he's doing. He's obviously a very big fan of the genre. And I appreciate that. And mm-hmm. I know a lot of people, I even brought this up while we were watching the movie. A lot of people complain that he puts his wife in every single movie. She's so good. But, though. like, she's really good. And also, he's like, I married this. Look at her. I'm Rob Zombie. How did this happen? Like, if you were married to Sherry Moon Zombie, you would do the same thing and don't even lie that you She wouldn't. also has a great name. Her name She's is so Sherry cool. Moon Zombie. Yeah. That's her legal name. So. Uh, I, will, I will tell you a bonus, like, I had, and I will get the content in which this line was said, but when they told, when they told him that Satan was coming, and he's like, oh, I am fucking Satan. I was, <laughs> oh my God, I laughed. There's a lot. Actually, there's surprisingly for the for the gory, just crazy, psychotic movie that this is, there's a lot of comedy in it. Yeah, he always throws that into oh, his movies. Oh, it's there's so always that, well intertwined, too. That ass, like, it's not, like, stupid humor. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, just enough to lighten what's happening. <laughs> yeah, like, say, maybe there's a bunch of people around a table and one of them just got shot and randomly there's a clown there. And the clown's trying real hard to make him laugh because he thinks that's what's going to save him. You need that little bit of comedy in there. Just to lighten the load a bit. (laughs) Alright, so... What would you rate this movie? Ratings time. Oh, I've gone back and forth between a four and a half and a five. And I am going to give this a five. I just... This is such a great movie. I have not seen a Rob Zombie movie I did not like please keep making movies because I, I loved all of them. I thought this was the, I thought this was one of the best ones. It's like tied for, it's tied with devil's rejects as the best one out of the series. And it's just, you know, it's, I can't fault them for not having more captain Spaulding cause you know, Sid cause Sid passed, but I think they did a great job with his send off and bringing in Wolfman to kind of, you know, alleviate the, so they still get the kind of the Trinity dynamic thing. And, oh my gosh, Shirley Moon Zombie. Sherry. I'm sorry, Sherry Moon. Sherry Moon Zombie and the the character baby is just so amazing. (laughs) 
<laughs> this soda machine scene is so yeah. great. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely give this five out of five. I think this is about as close to a perfect movie as you're going to see. I'd probably give it like a 3.5 out of five. I loved this movie. It was really fun to watch. I think out of the, the trilogy of House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and now Three from Hell, House of a Thousand Corpses is hands down always going to be my favorite because it's just so ridiculous and it kind of just opened up the doors of what Rob Zombie can do. He kicked in the doors. He, yeah, I love that movie so much. I also really did enjoy this movie and I will definitely watch it again and can't wait to get my copy. I will watch it with you. Yes. Later so. So that's it. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave us some comments down below. Out of the mentioned trilogy, what is your favorite and why? And uh, we all love Rain Wilson in House of a Thousand Corpses, of course. <laughs> Most ridiculous fish boy ever. Love it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Also, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you like Murder Face, because we love Metalocalypse. Hamburger time. <laughs> damn summer colds um you can find me on facebook at reanimator reviews twitter and instagram at reanimator you can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on itunes thank you to the farsighted network please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and awesome content as well where can they find you you can find me on Twitch at Repeat Ray Animator, where I play stupid games with my stupid friends. You can also find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray, where I tweet hilarious stuff, especially since it's football season. So we watched the, we, uh, this is another new movie. Kinda. Yeah. We are going away from what we're known for, you and your B movies, and I your B movies. You know, and your ridiculous '80s movies. But I mean, we could not. We couldn't. We could not not watch this movie. Mm -hmm. It was so good. I'm so happy. Yeah. Well, rest easy, Sid Haig. The whole community will miss you and cherish your memory. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>